Hey folks, it's William with All Solar Texas here with some amazing news for you, our solar customers in Texas for 2024. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. All right, so first off, you are very familiar with our company if you've been watching our channel that we have specialized in residential solar here in the Texas market for the last three years as of the recording of this video. We've been specializing uh, particularly in off-grid systems and whole home backup systems. If you're after energy resiliency, energy independence, then we are the company that you want to coordinate with because we can give you some of the best options out there on the market, options that other solar companies don't even offer for a price point Point that's extremely competitive. But in 2024, we're actually broadening now and we're looking at commercial. So we are now targeting the commercial market here in Texas. And let me explain why. There are some huge benefits with being a residential customer and going solar. You're able to capture a 30% federal tax credit, offset some of your tax liabilities, get some subsidies from the federal government, meanwhile creating energy independence and lowering your electric costs if you're a homeowner. If you are a business owner, there's even more benefit to going solar. So in addition to that 30% federal tax credit that you are also qualified for for commercial, we also have bonus depreciation. So what is bonus depreciation? What does that look like? Well, like any other asset in the commercial space, whether or not you buy a fleet vehicle or you buy a building or you invest in some kind of infrastructure, there's going to be some maintenance. There's going to be some wear and tear. There's going to be some depreciation, some tax deductions that you can take on that asset to help lower your taxable income and your tax burden. Solar is the same exact type of asset that, that you could look at from a tax perspective. So with the federal government, they just put in a 100% depreciation bonus for renewable energy products that is right now in the current legislature, which we hope and we think is going to be signed and, and go into law. Right now, we're at 80% bonus depreciation. This law was passed to uh, up the depreciation here um, some years ago, and it's been phasing out slowly, but now they're looking at renewing it and bumping it back up to 100% bonus depreciation. So if you are a commercial customer, what does that translate to? Well, between the 30% federal tax credit and the 100% bonus depreciation, you could be looking at about a 55 to 60% total offset of the cost of your system, which means if you decide to go solar, and we put in a much larger system than we would normally do for any type of residential, whether or not you're a gas station, you're a, a car dealer, you're a grocery store, you're a hardware store, or you do some kind of large scale manufacturing, we could scale that system appropriately. And now you can get the 30% federal tax credit in addition to any bonus depreciation on that asset, which offsets the total cost of that project up to about 50 55, 60% in total depreciation, depending upon the value in the system components. That includes your solar panels, all of your panel work that we need to do, the wiring, the conduit, batteries, energy storage, generation, whatever it is that we put in, in order to make your uh, business more energy resilient is going to be eligible for that additional tax credit and that depreciation. Which means if you are being completely stifled, if your profits are being driven into the ground, by escalating utility costs. Some of our commercial customers that we've been working with right now uh, will see uh, monthly utility costs in the tens of thousands of dollars. A few customers are very, very large energy consumers and we've seen some much higher bills than that. So imagine if you can offset your tax burden uh, take the government subsidies that exist and bring the overall cost of your system down to about 40%, 50% of what it would actually cost you to go solar out of pocket. Meanwhile, lowering and getting a control over your energy consumption, your, your energy usage, imagine what that's going to do to your bottom line. In addition, if you do decide to add generators or batteries, now you have a backup power option. So if you are in food storage and you have chillers and you know losing power is a big deal, that means that you could lose thousands if not tens of thousands of product. Um, that is something that you're going to want to consider. Or if you're a data center or if you just want to be in business while everyone else is out of business, imagine being the only hardware store in town that has power and has their doors open and your credit card machines 
stations are operating because you have not only solar but also backup power storage. It's going to be really great for your business when those times come. We're seeing an increase in outages. We're seeing an increase in weather events that are driving these things, whether or not it's heat, it's the freeze, it's the wind, it's the rain. We are threatening this Texas grid and it's going to continue to be fragile and break. So if you are a business owner and you want to get into more reliable, renewable energy, uh, if you want to become energy independent and if you want to really offset your tax burden and have some of that cost, uh, if not most of that cost, subsidized by the federal government, reach out to us, give us a call. We will be more than happy to sit down with you, with your board of directors, with other uh, members of your facility. We'll do a site walkthrough. We'll take pictures. We'll draw own the facility. We do all of the detailed deep dive kind of things that's necessary to get you a true ROI, a true payback period, and let you know what you're going to be saving going forward. So thank you so much for watching this video and God bless.